Okay? <laughs> so I think we're all aware how important the trade union movement is, the organized working classes in opposing fascism. It's a great honor to welcome the Confederal Secretary of the European Trade Union Confederation, Esther Lynch. Welcome, yes. Esther. Thank you. Colleagues, friends, comrades, brothers and sisters, I bring greetings from all around Europe. Over 50 million workers organized into trade unions and what's in our DNA? Fighting fascism, fighting against the far right. I was first elected as a shop steward. I was 21. It was a big factory in Ireland from America. And there, my first campaign was to help part-time workers be allowed to join the union. I got the part-time workers into the union because it was full-timers against part-timers. It was the engineers against the shop floor. It was the office against the shop floor. Divide and conquer is a really old-fashioned idea, but my God, it's effective. I see it now in my work in the European Union. I meet workers who are disadvantaged by exploitative employers who use Workers coming from around Europe, for example, here in London. Go to a building site in London and you'll often see workers being exploited, being paid less because they've come from different parts of Europe. I go to different parts of Europe, for example, I go to Hungary, and you'll find there the same employer, but instead they're there paying workers less. Paying workers there less than they would be paying their workers here. And all of that, all of that is divide and conquer. And the only way we can fight back against it is to get organized, which is why I think it's really important, the discussion that you're about to go into. And I'd encourage you, yes, look at the problems. Yes, talk about the problems. But what we really need now is hearts and mind finding solutions, building strategies to organize, strategies for resistance. My final comment on that is probably going to be a bit controversial because our analysis in the trade union movement in Europe is the only way to fight back against big business is not a return to nationhood. Smaller countries will do worse against big business than if we stick together. At the moment, at the moment when you're about to elect a genuine socialist left government, don't leave the European Union. Stay and help us fight for a European Union that stands up for our values. If you leave, all it will take is 100 far-right people to be elected to turn the EU Parliament into a far-right dream. That's all it will take if you leave. So please stay. Please help us fight, and please help us fight for the Europe we want by standing together and coming up with uh, strategies of resistance. Thank you, colleagues. Thanks. Thanks very much indeed, Esther. Thanks for coming from Brussels to join us today. A number of speakers have talked about the consequences of the terrible wars that have been inflicted upon many regions of the world since, um, since 2001. We've also heard about the danger of intervention in Venezuela and Trump's aggressive militaristic policies. It's a great pleasure to welcome the convener of the Stop the War Coalition, Lindsay German. 